r slash ask reddit. What does the weird guy in your office do that creeps you out? I put my meatball sandwich in the office refrigerator someone ate the meatballs out of the sandwich but not the sandwich. That's pretty creepy to me. OMG this killed me. Maybe they won't notice. Like who the duck. Close talker. Really close. You back up and he follows you. Ugh. I work with a close talker who has a big belly and he will stand so close that his belly is touching you. I asked him to back it up a little and he was offended and now he doesn't talk to me anymore so I guess that's a win. Come on. He just wants to lick your mouth. In my old job a guy came in 5.30 in the morning and would beat the hit out of the vending machine to try to get free food. That is hilarious. Edit. Did they sustain any injuries? I have no idea. I'd be at the end of a 12 hour night shift and cranky so usually just went downstairs to avoid killing them. I have to. The creepiest guy used to go to the bathroom and masturbate. When he arrived he used to spread the ejaculate around his neck. His reason was that because of the pheromones being let off his neck the women would instantly get horny, his words, and want to have sex with him. He was later fired for sexual harassment. The current guy looks just like a spook turtle all the time. He just stares at you and your computer screen while doing loud mouth breathing. He'll also suddenly burst out into opera and other strange songs. That new guy. Is his name Tim? Why yes it is. Are you who I think you are? She told me she was a sex addict after knowing her for about a day. But she also told me that since she met her fiancé, she had her addiction under control. They are not the kind of people you want to imagine having sex. Though she got fired and now I'm sure I'm the weird one. Not the kind of people you want to imagine having sex. Who, in my opinion, are fairly often the ones who are the most vocal about their sexual escapades. A friend of mine worked in a camera developing shop when film was still king. It was a zoo of dysfunctional people. But I can only remember one. Some old guy with an office at the back of the shop. He dressed in a shabby suit and dyed his hair black. My friend would frequently catch him standing in front of his desk talking softly to an imaginary person sitting in his chair. You can't do this to me. Joe. You can't do this to me. Also. One day he walked by his office and heard a soft clanking sound and muffled mumbling. He looked in. The guy had taken a giant cylindrical metal ashtray that was normally somewhere else in the building and moved it into his office and was stirring the cigarette butt slowly with a slotted spoon and talking quietly to himself. The air was full of dust and ash. Oh my god I had a guy just like this. He would have full on conversations with a guy called Martin that no one else could see. Martin was always on his left. I sat to his right on a bank of two desks. It felt like there was three of us half the time. My favorite were the days when Martin was extra naughty. My colleague would sternly tell him off saying things like Martin. You are being very indiscreet. Sometimes he would have to take Martin out to the corridor to have a word with him. It was disconcerting. I'm guessing this guy had schizophrenia or something. No one ever told the rest of the team what his deal was. I was extra nice to him cause I figured the job was tough even without a mental illness so props to him for coping so well. Double double. Toil and trouble. I work tech support help desk. The weird guy in our office is outwardly social and goes to the gym three times a week. Ducking monster. You should report him to management. Yeah right. Now you'll tell us he even goes out on dates? It's not nice to exaggerate stories like this. People notice. This guy comes over to me and blows in my hair when I'm working. It's pretty harmless. But duck that guy. Bleh. I was gonna mention that in my reply. Total sleaze sneaks up behind my girlfriend. Sniffs her hair then smiles and says hello to her while still hovering over her shoulder and making direct eye contact with me. Kept trying to have conversations about how monogamy isn't how it should be while alone with her. Changes the subject when I walk in. Is up her ass all day. Asking for her help. Asking if he can help her in any way. All day. He was within 5 feet of her at least 50% of the time. Would never ask me if I needed help though. Asked her on multiple occasions to get drinks after work and talk about work related things and the stress of being on the job. She would make it a point to invite me along in front of him though. 
I love my girlfriend. Bless her heart. But she gives people the benefit of the doubt for why a too long and just assumes people are being wonderful and friendly all the time. No sweetie. 90% of the time it's because you're goddamn gorgeous and everyone wants a piece of it. The day she got a new job and left the company was the best day I've ever had at this job and the day he was transferred 3 hours away was a close number 2. Didn't stop him from inviting her out for drinks one last time before I move out east. At which people she finally asked for my opinion on if he was being unprofessional. On top of this. I think he was 25 years older than her. Slicked back hair. Wore $15 sneakers and cargo pants daily and he's on his third wife. I ducking wonder why. Thanks for letting me get that off my chest. Bonus. The guy was the worst worker I've ever seen and didn't catch on to how he was supposed to do the daily responsibilities even after a year. Edit. Thanks for the advice. Internet tough guys. The company was swallowed and he was getting pushed out soon anyway. Wasn't worth a HR debacle and my girl can handle herself. You should've just said something dude. I regret being a pushover when it comes to this stuff. I never regret having said something though. Edit. I'm not saying hit the guy or even say something threatening. Just politely tell him to stop. And if he doesn't. I would ask the GF to get HR involved. It's not so much about marking my territory. But about doing something. However small. It just sucks having to think back to times when men flirted with my GF and I just sat back and watched. He follows me around but doesn't say anything to me. When he notices I am talking to somebody. He'll come over and never has any input. I'll ask him things to break the ice and he acts like I'm bugging him. Is your co-worker a cat? This is actually really funny to me. Cough into his hand and then lick his palm. I sat opposite and died a little inside each time. And then what? He'd just walk around touching everything with a licked palm. He's as bad as those guys who walk out of the restroom without washing their hands. I just gagged. I am probably the weird guy in the office. To be honest. I have no idea what people might think I do that's creepy though. But it might be the farting. Please rip us into the toilet. It makes the rest of us uncomfortable. And it usually smells. A guy who has been at my work for 37 years. Hits with the stall door open. It's a definite alpha move but still creepy. Dude is legitimately the only person that I've ever met that just gives me the willies. It's very subtle. But it almost feels like he's acting at all times. Like one day he'll just rip off his skin and reveal he's actually some reptilian saboteur. Edit. Just to clarify. This isn't putting on a brave face or trying to be a kind human being. This guy literally feels like he learned how to act by watching surveillance videos where the camera was just a bit too far away to capture fine facial expressions. Plus, he has shark eyes. One of my friends was like this. It took me a very long time to piece it together but things just weren't quite right. He was a great guy and super funny and then occasionally the mask would slip and he'd do or say something that made me like. And then he'd just go back to normal like nothing happened. I realized what a great actor he was when he stole money from me to buy drugs. I swear. Addicts are deception geniuses. It would be seriously impressive if it weren't so sad. Edit. I work with a kid with Asperger's. He definitely seems creepy because he likes to touch people hugs. Hand on the back. Poor guy. This one guy asked me how much cash I had in my pocket. I told him I was only carrying cards. Then he asked me what my spending limit was. I told him that was a weird thing to ask someone who you just met. Then tells me that he's just trying to spark up a conversation. Ye that guy's a mugger. I don't work with him anymore. But when I was pregnant I briefly worked with a guy that was more than old enough to be my dad. He would ask me pregnancy related questions all the time that started out pretty innocent. But then he started getting more and more personal. The final straw was when he asked if my breasts leaked when I heard babies cry. I didn't answer so he asked another co-worker. Who was majoring in biology. So obviously he would know. He also claimed to own a house on the beach in Santa Monica. But we made $10 an hour. So I remained skeptical. He worked there about a month before he got fired for encouraging our developmentally disabled clients to fight. 
He worked there about a month before he got fired for encouraging our developmentally disabled clients to fight. I got $10 on little Jimmy. He might be small. But boy is he grabby. Scott the engineer. He is a 30 something Asian guy with the personality of C3PO. For some reason he brushes his teeth like 5 times per day in the only bathroom in the office. Significant other I would go in for my morning or mid morning or afternoon hit. And he would keep trying to strike up conversations. The conversation started to get weirder. I tried to time my bowel movements to avoid him. One day he made a comment like you wouldn't spend so much time on the toilet if you ate more fiber. That was it so I told him to stop ducking talking to me while I'm trying to do my business. Plus I don't use the toilet just to hit. But as a place of reflection. A few weeks later it came out he was timing people in the toilet and gave a list of the worst offenders to the boss. I assume he was number one on that list? No. Number two. Edit. Damn. My top rated comment is literally a hit post. I didn't see it happen but a former boss once told me a story of someone he worked with at a pet store. See there are brands of dog food that are marketed as human grade kind of quality. Although technically speaking there is not nearly as many regulations if at all on animal food as there is on human food. So they can pretty much say whatever they want about their food. But anyways. This person would bring a container of noodles from home for lunch. Open up a can of the best brand of dog food and pour it on his noodles. Heat it all up in the microwave. And have that for lunch every day. I don't think I've personally seen anything weirder than that story. Good lord. Fituxany Alpo. We don't have a weird guy in my office. AWW duck. Does that mean it's me? God damn it. Now you're going to act weird because you're trying to not act weird. Don't be me. I had a co-worker tell me that he thought if anyone was going to come into the office shooting one day I seemed like the guy. He was a pretty cool guy and was mostly joking but still. I don't think you can say stuff like that. I thought it was funny though. He stands right outside the women's bathroom door. Whenever I'm leaving the bathroom he's there. I hate it. It makes me so uncomfortable. Uh, heh. I was just, you know, listening. I totally do this to my wife and she hates it. I also stare at her while she eats and tell her to do it slower. I'm a creep. But only to my wife. So I think that's okay. You tell your wife to eat slower? My girlfriend eats so slowly that I could nap and when I wake up she still wouldn't be done. Drives me insane. There's a few weirdos at my office. There's middle aged black guy that's missing a few teeth. He makes inappropriate sexual comments all the time. Today he was asking all the women in the office if they were wearing Disney princess panties. He also calls my our male Filipino co-worker Pocahontas. There's also a couple that's dating. The best word I can think of to describe them is trashy. His desk is right behind mine and she comes over to make out with him on all of her breaks. Her birthday was a few weeks ago. He remembered that she liked Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. I seriously contemplated throwing myself out the window. The weird kid in English class is always making school shooter jokes about himself. Followed by just kidding. If I was really going to do it, I wouldn't warn you guys. Update. Just now. He was digging through his backpack and said damn I must have left the Glock at home. There was a kid like that who shared most of my classes. He was short with limited social skills. Nothing particularly wrong with him so I didn't mind when he followed me around or sat next to me. First time I got drunk with a bunch of lads from school the consensus was that if anyone did a shooting it would have been that guy. I was like aww come on he wasn't so bad and they said you would say that. You're the only one he wouldn't kill. My male co-worker always touches our female co-worker's hair. We will be sitting in a group meeting and I see him twirling their hair without them noticing. We've pointed it out to him several times but he always claims to not know he is doing it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Reddit Queen for the best daily content.